Um, I just want to start off reading Romans 12, 2. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. So we think, how do we offer, our bo- offer ourselves as a living sacrifice? If we open up to Hebrews 10, the law is only a shadow of the good things that are coming, not the realities themselves. For this reason, it can never, by the same sacrifices, repeat endlessly year after year. Make perfect those who draw near to worship. Otherwise, would they have not stopped being offered? For the worshipers would have been cleansed once for all and would no longer have felt guilty for their sins. Those sacrifices are an annual reminder of sins. It is impossible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away sins. Therefore, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me with burnt offerings and sin offerings, you were not pleased. Then I said, Here I am, as it is written about me in the scroll. I have come to do your will, my God. First he said, Sacrifices and offerings, burnt offerings and sin offerings, you did not desire. Nor were you pleased with them, though they were offered in accordance with the law. Then he said, Here I am, I have come to do your will. He sets aside the first to establish the second, and by that will you have, we have been made holy through the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. So it talks about how um, we come to do God's will to, like, as a sacrifice. And when we're willing to do God's will, we are made holy through the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ. And, and then we think, how do we do God's will? How do we know what God's will is? Um, in Romans 2, 12, 2, um, it says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. So when we like stay away from the sin in this world and we try to renew our minds, we will be transformed, and we will be able to know what God's will is. And then we will be able to give, offer our bodies as a living sacrifice. Amen.